guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video talking all about my Cartier Love bracelet and my Cartier Love ring. Now, a lot of you have requested this video. I have mentioned that I wanted to do this video for quite some time. I've been kind of holding back just because I'm not sure. Like, I just don't want it to be coming across like I am amazing and bragging and look at me, look at this awesome jewelry I have. But this is kind of like a luxury fashion kind of a channel. So since a lot of you have requested this, I definitely want to tell you the story about um, these pieces since they're so incredibly special to me. And then also, you know, just kind of like reviewing them, the wear and tear, just, just more about them because I, I do know a lot of people really like this jewelry. So anyway, I just want you guys to know that it is not a normal thing that I just pop into Cartier and I'm just going to draw thousands of dollars on these really nice jewelry pieces like that is not the norm of my life so we'll move past that disclaimer and let's just get right into this video so I can tell you all about my favorite pieces that I'll probably ever have and I'll probably be buried in them because I never take them off my body except I probably won't be buried in them because I want to pass this jewelry down to the next generation but like always if you happen to be new here I would love for you to consider subscribing down below so that you're notified for my future videos I would love to have you back okay so Cartier um I really don't even know where to go I don't have like a, normally when I film videos I have a plan like this is what I'm gonna talk about this is the order I'm gonna talk about things but I feel like this video is just kind of all over the place so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my bracelet and then I'm gonna kind of tell you the story a quick story about why I have it just go over the stats of it information review it that kind of a thing and then I'll move into my love ring because I first got my bracelet and then I got my ring and they were a considerable time difference between the two here are the boxes that they both came in so I am obviously going to start with the love bracelet I'll quickly just quickly I'll make it brief tell you the story of why I got it so first of all I've known about the love bracelets for a long time I feel like Kylie Jenner oh, pretty much made them popular but I liked them long before that like a long time before that. I kept seeing them more and more and more and obviously that kind of made me like it more and more and more. My husband used to be a private pilot. He would fly basically rich people around to all these wonderful destinations and very rarely but sometimes I would fly with him to these spots because he did know the owner of the airplane and sometimes they would invite us along not to like hang out with them but like I could go down with them to wherever they were staying. So the one time we were invited to the Bahamas and that was the first time I ever went into a Cartier store. I had never been into one ever. So I went in and I definitely was kind of like eyeing up the love bracelets. In no way, shape or form did I ever think I was gonna get one and I wasn't even telling my husband like I want this. I just was looking at them and he obviously must have caught on that I like really, really liked it. Um, but that was kind of where it ended. We never talked about it. That was in 2013 and that was it. So then fast forward to the beginning of 2014, it was our fifth wedding anniversary. We went out to a really nice restaurant and I kind of thought that was gonna be the end of it. Um, we were sitting there at the nice restaurant and then he pulls out the red bag, which I don't have the bag with me. Well, I mean, I do upstairs. He pulled out the red bag and as soon as I saw the bag, I obviously knew what it was. He tried to play it off like, oh, you don't know what it is. I knew what it was. Anyways, I was totally, totally floored. Like, I seriously had no idea it was coming. And I was so, so happy. Anyway, that is why I got the first love bracelet. In his mind, it was, you know, just kind of like... He loved the idea. I think it really struck him how cool it was that you actually, like the person that loves you, um, puts on this bracelet. So the story behind this is, it is basically kind of like locking up the person you love. And that sounds kind of morbid in a way and kind of like weird. But anyway, he put this on me that night and um, yeah, I've not taken it off my body at all except for one time and that was right before I had my second son and that's because the doctor told me in the office that if I have to have emergency c-section they would cut this off of me so that freaked me out so long before I was even due I actually took this off for a while because I was terrified to go into labor and then they would like saw this off of me I didn't have a c-section or anything everything went fine I probably didn't even need to take it off but I did take that precaution so that's just an FYI if anybody does have this and they're having a baby maybe take it off in case you know we just that would just be really bad about this bracelet so let me just kind of give you a close up so this is size 16 I have the smallest wrists 
like really, really small. I have like child's wrists. I feel like, you know, I am like kind of on the smaller side in general, I guess, but when it comes to my wrists, I feel like they're abnormally small. So this is definitely the smallest you could possibly get. I don't exactly remember. I will have the website linked down below so you have all the current prices and everything because I do know it fluctuates with the price of gold. And then I do believe they have a price increase each year. I did get the size 16, which is the lowest, and then it kind of goes up in two interval increases. It is based on centimeters. You can definitely measure your wrist and then it's just kind of like how tight you want it to be or how loose you want it to be going up and down on your arm. I wanted it to be as tight, not tight, like it obviously still moves as you can see, but like it doesn't, um, I don't know, there's not that much, there's not a huge gap there, I guess. And then it doesn't go the whole way down my arm. A lot of people have them down like all the way to here and it's more like a bangle. And I did not want a bangle, so I was very happy that I got the correct size. I did get the one that is yellow gold, obviously. They have white gold, they have rose gold, I think they call it pink gold, actually. They have ones that have diamonds in them, they have ones that are like pave the whole way through. Those are obviously like quadruple the price of this one. So this definitely is the most basic version. That's what I did want. It is the original, it is the classic, and yellow gold has always been my favorite. Like I already showed you, here is the box, and it does just come in this really luxurious box, obviously as it should, and then it, you know, you it opens to reveal this really nice jewelry box, and you basically just hit this button right here, and then it does open up to the inside and it does have a nice spot for this screwdriver and then it um, can lay in here you know rounded right there to you know if you want to display it or whatever but like I said I never ever ever take mine off I wear in the shower obviously I yeah I just never take it off so there are two screws on either side and you always need to have someone actually put it on you so that is you know what is very interesting about this bracelet so it comes apart in two pieces you lay the piece pieces together and then it will screw in on either side one on this side and one on this side this bracelet is 100% solid gold so it is definitely a hefty piece of jewelry it definitely feels heavy I'm totally used to it by now I don't even think about it like if it wasn't on my wrist I like when I took it off for the pregnancy, I was I felt naked almost, like I wasn't used to it. Now that I wear it all the time, it's just kind of second nature and it doesn't feel heavy. However, it definitely is a hefty piece of jewelry. First I was like, oh my gosh, am I gonna get like messed up by the metal detectors at the airport? And that's not true, like, you know, it's totally fine. It's definitely, you know, a solid piece of jewelry. As far as wear and tear goes, I think this has held up very, very well. There's obviously scratches on it, um, they're not like deep scratches at all. They are kind of surface level. You know how sometimes I talk about Louis Vuitton and I don't like how their metal tabs get really scratched? This is definitely not perfect, but it's not even close to the kind of scratches that happen to metal zipper tabs and that kind of a thing. Um, or you know how like on the Favorite MM there's that plate there's scratches usually all over that. They're like hairline scratches and that is not the kind of scratches that are on here. It just doesn't look brand new, but um, it's not bad at all. But as the bracelet goes on with you throughout your life, you're pretty much just, it's just living with you. It is like kind of creating a story. So I love the story behind this. I love wearing it every single day. It's held up wonderfully. And then I know like, say I'm still wearing this, which I really fully intend to be wearing this in like 20 years. Um, I know they do recommend that very, very seldomly you can get this polished and it will look brand new at that point. But they recommend that you don't do it that often at all because it will actually take a small layer of the real gold off. So obviously they don't want you to wear it down too much. So this, you know, it doesn't bother me at all. I've had this for now three years and I still think it looks wonderful and I have no intentions of having it polished anytime soon, but obviously maybe I don't even know, maybe in five, six, seven years, maybe I will have that done. So moving on to my love ring, which again, total, total surprise. I had my baby Hayes. He was born on June 28th, 2015. So I, I got this ring um, two years later. Is that right? Yeah, two years later, I had Hayes. I was in the hospital bed. Everything went very smoothly. That was when they took him, the baby, out of the room to go just, I guess, I think they just did the whole, like, 
testing just to make sure his hearing was right and that kind of a thing. So the baby was out of the room, it was just me and Josh. Again, he pulls out the red bag. And at that point, I legitimately didn't know what it was. I'm like, I already got my bracelet. Like, what the heck do I have next? Honestly, I was kind of worried. Like, what if he got me something I'll never want to wear? This is like a lot of money. So anyway, I opened it up. And so here's the box. Um, I saw this. Again, I still didn't even really know what it could be. I was thinking maybe earrings. And then I opened it up, which obviously now, here's the string. Um, it's on my finger. But I opened it up, and it was the ring displayed in the box. And I flippin' loved it. Like, I, oh my gosh, I was so happy. And then I noticed that not only is it the um, the ring that just looks so good together, but I get closer and there's three diamonds in the ring. So I'll show you a close-up of it. So as you can see, there are diamonds on every other little um, screwdriver design. It comes in different formats, kind of just like the bracelet. You can get them completely plain, so it's just the screwdriver design. Then you can get them with um, the diamonds every other one. You can get them with diamonds on every single um, spot, and then you can get a pave. So there's just a lot of options with the ring as well. But he decided to surprise me, I guess, even though it was, the whole thing was already a surprise, but actually have diamonds in them. So I love the contrast, how there's diamonds in this one and then not in this one. I love how it matches, I think, just together. It's, it's just, I just love it. I just really, really love it. So this is the actual Cartier Love Ring. There's also the Love Wedding Band. So I think a lot of people don't know the difference or they're not sure which one they would prefer. This is very thick, kind of like the bracelet, so it does kind of, it doesn't match exactly, but I feel like it kind of goes better, at least in my opinion. Um, the wedding band is really, really nice as well, and I have seen a lot of people stack wedding bands. Um, I went into the Cartier store like, a, like, I don't know when it was, maybe when we were in New York City, I think, I don't know, but I went in and I actually put on the wedding band just to see what it would look like stacked and the wedding band and the love ring just don't look good together stacked at all because they're just different widths. Again, as far as wear and tear goes, I think it's held up just the same as the bracelet. It looks amazing. I wear it nonstop. This Truly haven't taken it off at all. Like I legitimately have never taken it off. That sounds crazy. I don't even clean it. Like I, I definitely, which I haven't done in a while. I clean my wedding bands. Like I, you know, I scrub them. I've never done that with this ever. I've never stuck it in chemicals. I've never, I basically, if I want it to look good, I'll kind of polish it with my shirt or I'll um, just kind of like mess with it in the shower just to get it a little bit clean. But other than that, I never take it off. Overall, I just absolutely love these two pieces. I've said a million times, I do not take them off. I think they, they just look good with like every everything. Um, I actually never really stack this with anything. I mean, occasionally I do just like, I don't know. It's super rare that I stack them. I don't know what it is. I just feel like this together just looks so classic, so incredibly timeless. And every time I put it together with like a piece of costume jewelry or whatever, I just feel like it just doesn't, I don't know, it like brings it down almost. So sometimes I love the Hermes, you know, click bracelets and sometimes I really consider getting one of those. And I do think if I end up getting one of those bracelets, I'm actually gonna wear it on this wrist. A lot of people do like to stack them with this, but I just don't, I don't know. I just like the simple, classic, timeless look of this by themselves. And then also I really don't like the idea of this um, scratching against other things because like I said, this has held up very, very well. However, I think if it was nonstop, like, clicking and clacking and, and, you know, banging on another piece of jewelry, it obviously wouldn't wear as well as it has. I also wanted to mention that I'm constantly typing at my desk and, oh, rewind. I also wanted to mention that I'm constantly typing at my desk and this never, ever like bothers me. Like it's just, it hangs very, very well, which I know I already did mention, but I just think this is a very, very comfortable bracelet. I love it, um, and this, you know, obviously is just a ring. I feel like it's very similar to many other rings, but but this bracelet definitely feels a million times better than any bracelet I've ever had. And like I said, it it should feel a million times better because it's like a million times more than any other bracelet. This is so special to me, and I really don't take it for granted. And I'm really really thankful for it. And every single day, 
every single day. I look at it and I appreciate that it, I get to wear it. I just really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching. If anybody has any questions about anything, I'll love to answer them. Thank you again for watching and be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.